medical marijuana should be available. You know, it's, it's the science is there, there's no denying it. You know, people who unfortunately have some of the, 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 the disease that we most, most fear, you know, types of cancer, the only thing that relieves their pain and helps them get through life is marijuana. I mean, it's been very, it's one, it, it, and so, you know, we passed a referendum, we agreed to do it, and the governor stopped, stopped it for, in a lot of ways. And I think that as governor, we will make medical about marijuana available in a cost-effective and easy way for anyone who, who, who needs it to, to stay for, for, for medical purposes. Recreational marijuana, I have a bit of a nuanced view. First of all, marijuana, I'm absolutely against it being criminal. It has to be decriminalized. There's no reason that we should be ruining someone's life because they make the mistake of, of having a marijuana cigarette in their fing in their, between their fingers and then they're a, a, they're, they're a criminal. So I think we have to, I believe in decriminalizing it, you know, but I don't believe in legalizing it. I think that a lot of my positions as governor will be, all of my positions will be informed decisions. And this decision is easy to inform because we've, we've had, it has been legalized in Colorado now for a few years places like Oregon, California, lots of places. So I think my biggest worry, again, as the father of three sons, is that my, I wouldn't want to think that my eight-year-old son, five years from now, is at his friend's house and there's a pack of marijuana cigarettes sitting on the table because they're just so, it's so available that, and the kids, kid, curious kids pick it up and before you know it, your, your teenage son is smoking marijuana. So what I would look at, and I think is the most thoughtful approach, is what has happened with use among young people in places where it's been legalized. If nothing's happened and, it, and there's the same or less usage in places like Colorado and California, they just begin to legalize it, and in Massachusetts they begin to legalize it, I would say if there's no impact on the usage by young people, I would say absolutely legalize it, regulate it, tax it, so people who do smoke it aren't just getting something from some drug dealer and they have to worry, is it cut with other drugs, is it pesticides? They'll know what they're getting like they do with everything else they buy, regulated by the FDA. And I like the idea of taxing it. You know, with that tax revenue could be used to really fight the opioid addiction, which it's not an, epi it's not an anic of epidemic. It is one of the greatest and worst epidemics of our time. And it has to be addressed vigorously and aggressively and it's dollars. And I think that would be a great way if, we, if, if in fact we can tax marijuana and use their revenue to, you know, to, uh, to deal with this opioid problem.